guys, so today's video is going to be a first impressions on this baby right here. So this is the Dr. Bronner's Liquid Soap. And I did a video not too long ago on the solid version of this soap and I really, really like it. And then I came across this at Sprouts yesterday and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try it. So this is the lavender scent. They have it in a bunch of different scents, but basically this is an all natural soap and it's free of any chemicals. It's not organic, I don't think, but it definitely is free. Uh, actually, it does say organic oils on here. So basically, it's less harsh than lots of other types of soap. So I'm going to be using this to clean my makeup brushes. So you can see right there are all my dirty makeup brushes. So I'm going to test it out and share my thoughts with you guys. I'm gonna be using this right here also to clean the brushes with. This is a Sigma brush cleaning something or another. It's a sample. It's not the actual like brush cleaning glove. It's a sample of the glove. But I just stick this in the bottom of the sink right here and I use that to like clean the brushes with. So in case you're wondering what that is. Okay, so first I'm gonna test it out on my bronzer brush. You can see, I hope you can see at least, the lighting really is not that great in the bathroom. <laughs> but you can see it is quite dirty. It is full of bronzer. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit of this on the brush itself. It smells it has an organic scent to it, like an herbally scent to it, but it does smell like lavender, so hopefully that's the scent that kind of resonates on the brush. So you can see how extremely dirty this brush is. Oh my gosh, it's almost gross, <laughs> almost shameful, but even you know, just going like this, it's working really well. So I'm going to kind of buff it on the brush cleaner like this and see what it does. Already it looks so much cleaner. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, let's run it under the water. Okay, so wow. Look at this is after I washed it out and I rinsed it out with water. That brush is spotless. There's nothing dirty coming out of it. Um, wow, and that was almost easier than the bar soap, I think. So very impressed. I'm gonna try it on a couple more brushes. So this is my blush brush. You can see it is supposed to be white, not to this dirty, mobby, brownish pink. So let's test it out on this. Looks like it's doing the same thing as it did with the bronzer brush. I will say I do feel like I'm using a lot of product and maybe that's just because I'm not used to using a liquid soap to clean my brushes. I'm used to having like a bar that I just kind of go like this on. So if you have any tips for me on how to conserve the product a little bit, let me know because right now I'm just kind of dousing it on each brush individually, which probably uh, you know, is wasting product, so. But yeah, this is cleaning it very well. Okay, let's rinse it off. All right, there we go. If you watch my last Dr. Bronner first impression, you'll see that this brush is kind of stained a little bit, but I mean, compared to what it looked like before, holy moly, very clean, very impressed. So now I'm gonna try it on some eye brushes. I feel like my eye brushes are more dirty, although the face brushes are bigger. I feel like my eye brushes get more dirty because I use like darker colors and stuff. So let me get some brushes that are supposed to be white. So all three of the tips on these are supposed to be white, not black slash brown like they are now. So get them wet and put some soap on them. Let's see how this baby does. So here are those brushes and this one does, it's a, it's like a duo fiber, so the bottom of the bristles are brown and then they turn white, so that is clean, but you can see the other ones are nice and white again. Wow, I am really, really impressed with this brush cleaner. Well, it's not a brush cleaner, but it works well as a brush cleaner. I'm impressed. 
Okay, so, so far, so good. I think the last test is the Beauty Blender. This is always such a stinker to wash and it stains so easily. So you can see I have concealer on this and foundation on this. So I think this will be the last test for me. So let's see. And I'm probably putting way too much product on here. I was just reading the back of the bottle and it does say to dilute it when you're using it for your body. It says one small squirt applied to wet washcloth to wash hands, face, and body. Uh, so I'm probably using way too much product. And by the way, if you want to know where to get that, I'll link it down below, but I got mine for $10 at Sprouts. So I think they also have it on Amazon and Target.com and a couple of other places. So it, the Beauty Blender is just soaking up this soap. It's, you can see like nothing is <laughs> really falling into the sink. The Beauty Blender just soaked it all up. Look how weird it looks now. Okay, well let's get some water in there and see what it does. Well, it definitely cleaned off the concealer on the tip of the Beauty Blender, but it didn't get this foundation spot off the bottom. So let me try again. Let me put some more and just kind of rub it into the bottom because I was kind of rubbing more on the sides this past time. So let's, oh, there we go. Now you can see the dirty suds. So maybe this will, this will do the trick. There's still a little tiny dot in there, but I mean, for the most part, it is pretty much bright pink and clean again. <laughs> All right guys, well I'm gonna wash the rest of my dirty brushes over there, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and that's about it. So I'll talk to you next time, bye.